Welcome, everybody. If you don't know me, I'm Deborah Diamond. I'm an author, a speaker, a teacher, and a psychic medium. I have a background as a money manager on Wall Street and a commentator on CNBC and a former professor at Johns Hopkins University. I like to combine my background in finance and the markets with my knowledge and ability as a psychic and a medium to bring new and cutting edge information to you that I hope you'll find educational and informative and helpful to you in your lives. Today I want to talk to you about a topic that uh, we don't hear too much about relative to what's going on at the moment. But as you know, there's a lot going on it right now. Uh, we're obviously in the midst of a pandemic, but we're also in the midst of something else, something a global and unifying and transcendent. And that is the fact that we're moving from a 3D to a 5D world. And for those of you who are not familiar with the term 5D, because maybe some of you are not, um, I'm going to explain that to you. Um, we live in a 3D world. We have historically anyway. And th the 3D world is full of ego. It's full of physicality and materiality and things like money and ambition and uh, stratification of stratif stratification of ma uh, the masses and um, so all of these things that can be easily categorized and systematized and that's really you know what our 3d world is about it's about materiality and putting things in its place including ourselves however we something has happened this year something profound and life-changing beyond the pandemic I mean, all of us can identify with that. It's something that's happened to the collective. It's not just to each of us personally, but it's also applicable to all of us all over the world as a collective. And that is the fact that we are now in a period of transcendence to a 5D dimension, the fifth dimension. So what is that? The fifth dimension is all about consciousness, unlike the third dimension, which is about materiality. The fifth dimension is about consciousness and the loss of the ego. It's a, it's a place where people will eventually be able to communicate telepathically, and some of you may already be able to do that. And some of you have reported in the last six or seven months these newfound dreams, quote unquote dreams that you're having, which are not really dreams, but are portals to consciousness where your consciousness is being cracked open. And people from the other side who have passed or people who are here on earth and are still alive are, are coming into your consciousness and you can't explain it. This is all part of this process that we're going through of, of ascendance and transcendence into the 5D uh, dimension. It's happening now. And certain platforms have been in place to enable this, this um, new dimension that we're entering. And if you think back on it, you'll understand that you have been a part of this. Now, what do I mean by that? Okay, now I want you to think about this. What do we have? What have we had that's increasingly invaded our lives in the last 10 or 15 or 20 years? Okay, what is that? Well, we could think of a lot of things, I'm sure. But one that's the most prevalent is the Internet. And what is the Internet? Well, it's enabled communities, which are, in fact like countries. They're actually like virtual countries. They don't have a landmass, but they have everything else. They have um, different political parties. They have people of different uh, means, you know, from the very wealthy to the very poor and everything in between. They have different ideologies. They have um, methods of communication and communities. They have all the aspects of, of countries and and everything the countries entail. They even have um, forms of currency and businesses. They don't have the landmass, but this is in keeping with the fifth dimension of 5D reality, where there is no materiality, but everything happens in a virtual world. And this is what we've uh, constructed with the internet. In the early stages, of course, it wasn't like that. It wasn't so much a part of people's lives, but over the years, it's been growing in importance in everyone's lives until now when basically we are living in a virtual world. We've all been converted into living into this virtual world in an instant, right? So think about it. I mean, you'll, you'll see that that's pretty much true with the exception of the throwback to family values of the 50s, and that's really what we're relying on now for the soul, uh, the soul of the fifth dimension, the soul that we're trying to carry forward and, and perhaps even infuse our consciousness. So this is an extraordinary time 
Uh, people think that we're just going through a pandemic, I think, for the most part, because obviously that's what's first and fo foremost in our, you know, in our mind. It's what we see on the news and the newspapers, and it's what everyone's talking about. But if you pry it open a little bit, you know, you'll see that this is really about something bigger, much bigger. And this um, transcendence into the fifth dimension uh, was actually also facilitated by something else that we talk about, and that is near-death experiences and spiritually transformative experiences. Now, years ago, a handful of people, a, sm a smaller number of people, had these types of experiences, but over the years, the number of people who report NDEs and STEs has steadily increased, and now there's millions and millions and millions of people all over the world who report these extraordinary experiences for which they have no explanation. Although we know there is an explanation. It's about your consciousness being thrown out of your body and then being put back in so that you now have altered energy and increased consciousness. And all of this also feeds into this movement towards the fifth dimension. The number of people who've had these experiences has been growing and growing and growing. And in the last year, although the data doesn't exist yet, Anecdotally, we can say that it's probably doubled or tripled. I mean, I could say, and from other people that I talk to, that the number of people who are telling them about these experiences is just kind of off the charts. So this is happening at the same time. Now, we're going through a reset. We're going through a human awakening um, as we jump dimensions. We've jumped from the third and heading towards the fifth. We're blowing the top off your consciousness as, you know, this has been witnessed by the dreams you're reporting, your greater sensitivities. I'm sure many of you are reporting these as well, and that's to be expected if your consciousness is being enhanced, if it's blossoming. So I'm going to talk to you about this great extension that's happening on our planet, and I'm going to talk to you about these two dimensions and what they mean. Um, this year has been a catalyst to all of this happening more rapidly. And you know what? It makes sense because we are entering the age of Aquarius, which is a totally new age uh, that hasn't, you know, we haven't experienced it for many, many years, and it's also associated with humanity. So these two events seem to be converging, and the awakening of consciousness, the awakening of, of and, the, and the decline of the ego are all happening at the same time. Um, let me explain what the future will look like on this planet. Um, we have uh, platforms that, you know, as I said, have facilitated the entry to further development on Earth and paving the way to 5D. Um, we've had the opportunity for growth and development here on Earth. Now, many people find that they've had difficulties in their lives. They've had a lot of turmoil. They've had a lot of chaos. They've had lots of things happen to them that are tough, really tough, and it makes, it makes life hard for them, it makes life as we know it in the 3D world hard for them. But those events are meant as part of our education so our spirit and our soul and our consciousness can grow and expand. And that, again, is leading us to this this um, elevation to this higher dimension. And those of you who are listening, many of you may have had these experiences, you know, where life has been difficult. People who've had NDEs and STEs often tell me about how, how hard their lives were. But those, those experiences they had, those extraordinary experiences, much like we're going through today, have led them to a new place of higher consciousness and a, and a newfound look at how they live their lives. And the way they typically live their lives is not according to the 3D world, where unfortunately in the past, most of these people uh, didn't have a, they didn't really have a place in the world because they were living in, in effect in a 5D world personally, but they were placed in a 3D, a th third dimension, trying to live in a 5D way. So there was a, a mismatch, but we are now heading into this fifth dimension. So for any of you who are struggling, who are in turmoil, who don't feel like yourself, who feel like you're neither sort of here nor quite there, um, if you're having these unusual dreams or other, other things that um, might signify that your consciousness is expanding, um, know that this is all part of the process. Um, so you, you know that the material world is, is heavy, it's dense, um, and some of that, that density and energy is being taken away now. 
and um, it's going to be replaced with this higher form of energy. And in the fifth dimension, there is no sense of time. It's a virtual world, and ideas are important. They're more important. And, you know, when you think about this past year, well, actually the last six or seven months, how has time been for you? Is there a feeling like there is no time and no space? You know, every day is sort of the same. It's not really just because of the pandemic. It's because, again, of this transcendence, this move into this higher dimension where time is less important. So all of these issues that are happening right now are not just temporal issues of our world. They're designed by the universe to bring us into a reckoning, a reckoning of higher consciousness. And we will replace uh, energetic blocks, they're being eliminated. Um, and in this higher dimension, thoughts will be known instantaneously, as some of you have had in your dreams, where you know things, or you've seen things, or you've encountered things. Um, money, as we know, it will no longer exist, and we've talked about that before. You know, how we're going to go towards this, either some sort of digital currency or something else. It's not going to be the same old system that we've had in the past. Um, so we're moving away, you know, just we're moving away from this ego-centered material world. Um, and we also see this in newfound values, the family values. You know, look around your neighborhood. What have you seen? I see in my neighborhood, I see families together. I see houses that have porches, and I've always walked by them and wondered, why do I never see anyone on these beautiful porches? Well, now I see them. They sit out on their porches, and they sit with their neighbors, and they... They're, have, they're living, people are living a very different life than they have in the past. Instead of rushing around and um, not thinking and not being, they're now actually relating to one another. And that's also a sign of this higher consciousness. Um, so where are you in this process? And where are you in this awakening? Have you had these experiences? And if you have, let us know. Leave your, leave your comments below. And um, I'd love to hear from you. And of course, if you like these videos, please share them. Please um, like them and subscribe. And I thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks.